what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. You're going to hear all of that again in just a minute. I wanted to explain this video. Back on Monday, I did several cooking recipes all at one time. And um, so this is another recipe from that day. So you're going to be seeing some things. So anyway, but then after the recipe, I'm going to bring you over here to the farm and work with me a little bit. I'll probably take you out to eat with me and Bryant. So there's a little bit uh, extra stuff on this video, as will be tomorrow's video. So um, on with the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. I know you guys are seeing this several days past the solar eclipse, but we're actually right in the beginning of it here um, today on the day of this filming. So I'm actually outside. I'm not looking. Um, Bryant has a um, a welding helmet that is is strong enough for to look at it, and I'll go get that in a minute and take a look but it's kind of that eerie yellowy look outside right now and so it is it is beginning it is getting dark in the house because <laughs> I have all these windows and it's getting dark outside so therefore it's kind of getting dark inside uh, I've got a lot of filming to do today but I did just want to step outside and um, just take in this weirdness it's just a weird um, just a weird color to the day, even though the sun is still shining. Um, it's just odd. So anyway, as soon as the eclipse is over, we'll get started on this video, which is going to be cheesy. I don't like the name of it, but it's cheesy funeral potatoes. Um, we're going to make just kind of like a potato casserole, basically. So, um, let's go in. We'll wait for the eclipse to be over because I want to come out and check it ever so often. And um, we'll see you in just a minute. So I think I'm going to go out and check it one last time before we get started on this recipe. I did change shirts just so I would know because I'm doing a lot of filming all in one day. And so I need to know when my videos start and where they end. So um, it helps when you got on a different shirt. So I'm going to go out and check the eclipse one last time and then we'll come in. I mean, you still see the sun shining. So um, it wasn't going to be a totality here, um, it, you know, a total eclipse. It was, it was going to be like 85%. So I don't know how actually dark it's going to get. It looks really weird. I'm seeing shadows outside that I don't normally see. So, um, but I'm going to go outside one last time. And then we'll come in and we will get started on this recipe. And I'll tell you actually what I'm planning for supper and how that's going to go. Um, everything that I'm having and why I chose to do this side instead of my traditional mashed potato side. So, all right, hang tight. I'm going out. I'll be right back. So tonight for supper, we are having pot roast, a, just a regular pot roast, nothing fancy, not a Mississippi pot roast or anything like that, just onion, salt, pepper, that's it. And um, I normally do mashed potatoes and biscuits and the whole kit and caboodle. But today I decided, I didn't have any potatoes to peel and make mashed potatoes. So I still wanted a potato or a carby type side. And so I happened to have some hash browns and I thought we can do funeral potatoes or cheesy potato casserole, however you wanna call it. We're going to do it. So let me get everything I need. I'm going to open up these hash browns. I will be right back. Okay, so let's get started on here. I may have to walk away a bit, you know, here and there 
to grab something. But I've got 32 ounces of thawed diced potato hash browns. These You can use shredded if you have shredded. It does not matter. I see a brown hash brown. Let's get that out. <laughs> a brown hash brown. Okay, so I'm going in with about um, two cups of cheese. And I'm just guesstimating this. Okay. I also want to go in with, I tell you what, I'm going to mix everything together. I'm going to go melt this butter in the microwave and I'm going to mix in the sour cream and soup and seasoning and then we'll pour it over. I'll be right back. So we're setting our potatoes and cheese aside right now. I've got a whole stick of butter melted in here. To that, I'm going to add in a 16 ounce can of, or tub of sour cream. You know how it separates and you get a liquid on here? Don't worry about stirring that up now because we're going to stir it up in here in just a little bit. So just kind of flop that sour cream in there and be sure you get all of it. And we're going to do some stir in here in a minute so you don't have to worry about it. All right, and we're going to also add a can of cream of chicken. Now, because my bowl is so shallow or small, I should have used a bigger, deeper bowl, I'm going to stir kind of easily. So what I'm going to do is while I'm breaking this up, I know it may take a little while. I know you don't want to sit here and watch me baby this. Let me, um, let me go get a small whisk. That may help. But I just want to get this all broke up together and mixed in. And I'll be right back. So I have it somewhat pretty good mixed up. So we're going to add, um, the recipe calls for minced onions, dried minced onions. I don't have any, so we're going to add some garlic, I mean not garlic, uh, onion powder. And I'm going to add in some green chives. Just to kind of drive home that onion flavor a little bit. And we're going to add some salt and pepper. I always do the pepper first and then I leave little black flecks in my salt. All right, and we're gonna take our whisk and stir this up. Now you could just do an all-in-one dump. It would be totally fine and you wouldn't mess up this container. But I thought I would like to get a head start of mixing it. All right, guys, I got to go get a pan. I want to do this in a tin pan. I'm not quite ready to stick this in the oven. I just wanted to get a head start on supper. I have been cooking all day long. I have made flautas. I have made a pound cake. I have made now this, and then I'm going to make some Brussels sprouts. So um, we've been cooking all day, and I want to get a head start. So when it comes time for supper, I just have to stick it in the oven. All right. Let me go get a pan. I'll be right back. All right, I went and got one of my tin pans and uh, I've sprayed it with some butter spray. And we are going to get all this out. It may take me just a minute. Let me lay that right there. Stop. In the name of love. Before you break my heart, I have been in a pretty good mood today, like extra good. The Lord woke me up and he's just given me a wonderfully blessed, glorious day. And I am so thankful. I just praise him for all of his goodness. Oops. 
it fell. Alright, so I do have a bigger spoon, a more heavy duty spoon here that we're going to stir this all up with. And I definitely have more cheese, more cheese for the topping, and then more cheese if I feel like the center needs more. And I really think it does. I smell the onion, so I think we're good with the onion. But I'm going to add some more cheese in here. And then the rest we will put on top. All right. Now look how easy that was. The hardest part was shredding my cheese. And I mean, if you have if if you have store bought shredded, I'm not opposed to using that. I do think this melts a whole lot better. But um, you can definitely use whatever you want. All right, let's get this over here. Those little bitty pieces of chives shining through, I see. All right, guys, give me just a minute to scrape it out and be sure I've got everything out of the bowl here. Turn it around where I can see. It is about time for me to sit down with a water or something. I feel parched. All right. We've got all of that goodness out. All right. Okay, and I'm just going to spread it around in this. I'm not sure what size these are. These aren't the great big tin pans. They're the, you're, they're not the small ones either. It's very close to a 9 by 13. I do think it's a little smaller than a 9 by 13, but it is very close to a 9 by 13. So maybe a 10 by 11. I don't I don't really know. I guess I could go look at the package. So, I'll do that in just a minute. I'll go look at the package and tell you exactly what it is. And I'm just going to spread the top with cheddar cheese. Now, you could by all means top it with um, cornflakes. You could top it with Ritz crackers, um, potato chips, whatever your heart desires to top it with, you could definitely do. I just have some extra cheese, and that's what I'm topping it with tonight. I'm going to cover it with tinfoil for now. I won't bake it with tinfoil. I'll probably uncover it. Unless it looks like the cheese is getting extra done and then I'll cover it back up. But the reason I'm covering it now is because I'm not ready to bake it yet. Um, I'm just getting a head start on supper. So I'm going to um, cover this up, set it aside, and um, I'll bring you back when it's time to go in the oven. In the meantime, I'm going to film another video. So on the potato casserole, I changed my mind. I am going to cover it. And the reason is I'm going to be cooking it with the Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts are going to be at a higher temperature. And I don't want the cheese to get too terribly brown. So what I've done is I have sprayed with some cooking spray this tinfoil. I'm going to cover it and stick it in the oven along with the Brussels sprouts. So things got carried away when I got it out of the oven and we got ready to eat. And of course, I didn't get any filming done. Um, Isaac and Jessica loved it. I was meh on it. Um, I'm not even sure. Brian ate it. He liked it. Um, <clears throat> I did have to stick it back in the oven a couple of times. Just I uh, didn't feel like the potatoes were done to my liking. Um, but, you know, it was still very good. Um, but it's probably not something I'll do again, but I didn't film everybody eating it, but oh well, I'm sorry. But so on with the video. Hey everyone, welcome, um, back. I know you just 
finished one video or one portion of this video but listen the other day I spent the day cooking and you just saw part of that probably the potatoes is what you just finished watching so it's a different day same video for you guys different day for us we've just kind of we did a ministry call today and he went with Isaac what we went to Chapel Hill uh, the hospital at Chapel Hill, we have a church member who's there who had brain surgery. So we went to see her. And now we're going to just go get us a bite to eat. And we are going to this little place called Brewski's. They make flatbread pizzas. I'm not sure if I've ever brought you in there or not. But guys, it is so good. They have the most delicious uh, flatbread, all kinds of pizzas. And then they have a nice little coffee shop that you can get a specialty coffee. So, all right, we'll see you there. What kind of what it is? I get the mm -hmm. green bacon, I think is the name of it, on a cauliflower crust. Mm -hmm. And Bryant got buffalo chicken pizza mm -hmm. on a regular flatbread. Regular crust. It is delicious. Good morning, everybody. I thought I would, it's, it's a whole new day, it's a whole new morning, and I thought I would end this video with a little bit of farm work. Uh, I'm over here at the farm now. Bryant and Daniel are getting ready to walk chickens, and I am going to be doing some paperwork, some cleaning, um, just, you know, normal, normal stuff. So, um, I'm here, I am just pulling up to the mailbox, and uh, we... If you've watched any of my farm videos before, you know we get feed tickets and I have to keep up with how much feed we get. And so, um, I'm here at the mailbox. They all have to sign in I have a bunch of feed tickets. Good gracious. Um, they all have to sign in on that clipboard and raise the flag to let us know they've been here. So after I start stop by the mailbox, I still go by every house and check to make sure there's no feed tickets in the house. So I traditionally just come in here just to check, just to be sure there's not any in here. I, I walk in and sometimes they're up here and sometimes they're over there on the platform. No feed ticket in here. I'll check house two. No feed tickets at one and two. Let's go check the four other houses. Sorry, the camera's jiggling. Let's go check the last four houses. All right, so I have a form I need to put away in our book, and I need to add in our feed tickets. So that's what I'm going to do for a little bit. I'll bring you back when I do something different. Y'all seen me do this a million times, I know. So uh, I'm going to put in all these feed tickets. Didn't find any in the houses. They were all in the mailbox, which is where they're supposed to be. So praise the Lord for that. Um, so I'll see you in just a second. So Caroline's job here on the farm is and she does it as a you know because I help watch her kids I do errands for her I do all kinds of stuff for her so her job just as part of being of the family on this farm is she cleans the service rooms like like we clean them often throughout the flock but she does a deep clean once or twice a flock like a really big deep clean in the service rooms which is where the controllers are and all that good stuff so this is her week to do that so what i'm doing is i'm kind of helping her get her a head start and i'm going around and i'm cleaning off all the door windows like with windex the controllers all have clear plastic plexiglass doors on them I'm cleaning those and um, that's very little compared to what she'll have to do but it at least will take something off so let's go I've done house three and four let's go over to one and two do them then five and six and then I'll be back here at three and four 
Hey everyone, these are our controllers and these are the doors that need to be cleaned off. You can see that they're clear and if they get dusty and when you're messing with the toggles, it's easy just to kind of leave it cracked and then dust and spiders and everything gets in there. So I'm gonna clean those off and I'll clean the door window and then Caroline will come in and she will clean everything else. She'll make sure our pipes are clean. She'll make sure our cubby containers are clean. Uh, the, the silver tray thing, desk like thing is gonna um, be cleaned. So she will clean everything else. But I'm gonna go ahead and give these d clear doors and clear things a Windex wash. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's what I'm doing today. Caroline will come in and she will clean everything else and make sure everything else is spotless. She'll sweep, she'll empty the trash, and she'll clean all our pipes and everything else. And then she'll double check what I've done today because dust happens every single day. We have to keep up with keeping our service rooms clean pretty often. And um, because dust and spiders, you can clean a spider web down today and it'll be even bigger tomorrow. But hey, that's part of it. That's part of what we do. So I'm gonna go finish all the houses. I'll see you back when we get over to house three and four and seems like I got something else I need to do. Okay, so the next thing I was gonna do, not necessarily on the farm, but I was. we have a dumpster here at the farm and I was gonna go clean out my car. I'm not even going to show you my car because it looks like a bunch of animals live in my car. And I don't mean domesticated animals. <laughs> it's terrible. But um, what I'm going to do is that it's supposed to rain today and I see on my windshield it's starting to sprinkle. I am going to go pull my car in the carport, go in the house, do some work in the house. And when I get tired of being in the house, come out to the carport and clean out my car. It's terrible terrible so anyway it's fixing to get super busy here on the farm um if if you've watched my channel we're coming up on the season that oh, is the bane of my existence <laughs> and that is hay time um so We've got a lot of things. We, If we're going to have a garden, I don't even know that we're going to have one because I've asked and asked and asked to have the field plowed up, but there's no time. Bryant has had no time to till up the ground. So, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but um, anyway. And it never fails. Our, our um, vacation always hits 
right at the biggest harvest time and I don't really have anybody to care for it because my whole family goes on vacation with us. So I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So with that being said, I'm going to take the Windex and the paper towels back in here. I'm going to leave Bryant a list of things he needs to do. His office in here needs a deep cleaning bad. And, um, and then I'm going to send Carolina to do list when she comes over here. She's off on Fridays. She does have, um, some appointments to go to on Friday, but after that she'll be free and the boys are at school so she can come over and do her job on Friday. But I need to leave her a to-do list because, um, just to be sure she doesn't forget anything. So, all right. I will see you guys. I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to say goodbye. I will see you tomorrow right back here from a new, another recipe from the same day. And, um, it, I don't know what else it'll have on it, but it'll have something. So, all right. I will see you guys next time on the farming pastor's wife. Remember if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye y'all. Hey, and let me tell you that potato recipe, it was okay in my opinion. Um, Will I make it again? Probably not. But hey, some of you may love that kind of stuff. So um, just because I didn't care for it doesn't mean you won't. They loved it. In fact, Jessica and Isaac wrapped it up and they carried it home with them. They were like, yeah, we're taking this. So, um, you know, just because I didn't like it doesn't mean you won't like it. So I will see you guys next time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. I've already said that. I know.